Across 20 disciplines and more than 30 degree programs, the College of Public Health educates future public health leaders with an emphasis on interprofessional, simulation-based education. Focusing on healthcare simulation standards and best practices, our goal is to advance the science of simulation and share new knowledge. The Nursing Sim Lab is a space in the nursing department under the College of Public Health. It's located on the Health Science Campus. We have two separate nursing sim labs, both used for simulations and skills labs. For simulations, we immerse you in real healthcare experiences in a controlled environment where students are psychologically safe and there's no risk for something happening, like within clinical, something can happen and we can't control it. So in simulations, we can kind of keep the stakes low for the learner and they have an opportunity to recognize and implement their own interventions. Simulation is very important for our students' education. It gives them an opportunity to practice skills that they wouldn't necessarily see in clinical practice and also to practice those skills before they get into the actual clinical setting so that they feel confident when they're walking in. It's not the first time that they're seeing this. It also affords them a safe space. We don't judge in the lab. We give constructive feedback, but it's okay to make mistakes. I think that's a lot of the fear that our students come in with, so it's a great way to practice. It's a great way for us to get them prepared. Simulation has enhanced my education in the nursing program because like I'm a big hands-on learner. Like I like to visualize things, I like to see things, and I spend hours reading a textbook or like these case studies, but when I'm in like sim lab I can like physically see it, I can perform the procedure, and I think that's super beneficial. You know what time it is? Right now it is 2.22. An important concept I learned during simulation lab is to be yourself. So when I walk into the simulation lab and I introduce myself first or I tell them about me and what I'm going to do and make the patient feel comfortable. So when I go into the hospital setting, I'm able to incorporate what I've learned during sim just by practicing on like a fake patient to make sure that I can actually do it to a real person. I would say some important concepts or lessons is that it's important, like communication and being attentive is very important because the vitals of the patient could be okay one minute and then the next minute something's going wrong. So just to be able to communicate effectively with your team and make sure you're paying attention. I am so looking forward to the new simulation space for so many different reasons. Number one, it will, I think, afford us with a lot more space to bring more students in. The other thing that it does is the new simulation space, I think, will give us a chance to have interprofessional experiences where we get a chance to have scenarios or simulations with other groups within so the health science group, for example, PT, OT. We can have a, a situation where a scenario is created using nursing and these other groups to really have real life experience of what happened in the hospital situation. The new interprofessional simulation space will allow us to advance our current research programs and better serve the community through high school summer camps, community partnerships, and collaborations with professionals such as firefighters, police officers, educators, and healthcare teams.